Hi, in this video I'm going to revisit the Kingfisher hide for the first time this year. So I filmed this video over the course of about three weeks. The first time that I visited the hide, I did a little bit of restoration because the hide had sat for about three months without me using it, but I did manage to get a few shots of the Kingfisher and a few shots of a Heron. But then it rained a lot and the level of the pond rose and flooded the bottom of the hide. So what I decided I would do was lift the, the hide up onto stilts, which you've probably seen me do in last week's video. Then we had an environmental disaster which contaminated the water and has really impacted the sightings that I've had of the Kingfisher and I'll tell you more about that at the end of the video. So unfortunately we end on a little bit of a downbeat note but during the first part I definitely managed to enjoy my photography. I didn't expect to be at this location again so soon, but the owner has been in touch with me and said there's been sightings of the Kingfisher again. So just behind me here is a hide that I put up and over the summer I got about five videos from this location um, and some really, really cracking pictures of a Kingfisher. So I've been down this morning to check whether the hide is still in a good state and it is and I've also been out onto the um, pond and broken the ice around the perches so that's all ready so I've just got a bit of setting up to do inside the hide and then we can get on and try and get some pictures. The hide itself is a corrugated um, archway I think it was used for pigs originally um, but it's done a good job of keeping the water out and this black plastic that I've um, put on the back not only acts as a blackout but it's also kept all the weather out and we've had a lot of snow and rain over the last couple of months but inside it stayed pretty dry so I'm pleased with that so I'm going to get in inside the hide I've got some wood that I put down on the floor um, just to keep me off the mud and just save me churning the whole of the side of the pond up and I've also got some black plastic at the end that I've um, used to keep the water out but it also shields me from the kingfisher and then as well there's some netting where I that I use to um, poke the camera through so what I need to do first of all is just um, arrange this again because it's just um, I've lifted it off the floor to stop it getting damp and um, starting to go rotten so I'll do that first. So what I need to do next is bring down the foam pads and install those They make it a little bit warmer and more comfortable to sit on. now got everything set up it's just a case of patience i know the kingfisher is about because i've seen it a couple of times this morning chances are it won't show up again now i'm sat here in the hide but i can always come back another day now um now i know the hide is back in a, a usable condition So the Kingfisher is definitely about, I've just got a shot from quite a long distance to be fair, so it's not the greatest, but I've also got some video as well. Um, and so it's just a matter of patience now and it's, it'll land on a closer perch before long. It did land on a fence post quite close, but it was behind some branches. Um, so a bit of patience, I'm sure I'll get a shot. Thank you. 
well a double bonus just got some nice shots of a kingfisher and the, as the kingfisher flew off a heron came down and landed on the pond so i've got a few shots of that as well So I'm going to call that a day um, for day one. Um, I've been in the hide now for at least two and a half hours. Um, I've got some reasonable shots, nothing spectacular, um, but I have definitely proved that the Kingfisher is still about and it's been actually quite active this morning. I've seen it lots, but just unfortunately, every time I've seen it, it's tended to land behind a twig or very far away from where I'm sitting and so I've just not managed to get a really really good picture but if I come down another day I'm sure I'll have better luck. It's now about three weeks since I filmed the first part of this video and quite a lot's happened um, and I've come down this morning um, to have a go uh, at taking some pictures from the hide and the water's come up again right up to the level that I raised the hide to. I don't know whether you can see behind me but the level of the pond is really really high and the stream that feeds the pond which is over there is spilling right over the edge into the pond which has brought the level of the pond up. I can just about get into the hide this morning so I'm going to carry on and take some photographs. Inside the hide is now so much more comfortable. Now I've got a proper decking down. Um, I've got a bit of plywood as you would have seen if you've watched the video when I made it all the way to the edge on either side. There we go. So we've got a completely flat deck for putting equipment and things down. I'm sitting completely flat now whereas before I was on a slope which to some extent was slightly more comfortable because my feet were below where I'm sat but equally I was constantly sliding down towards the water so now it's much more comfortable. Now I, I've been here for about two hours this morning and it seems like my worst fears may have come true. Um, I've not had any signs of the kingfisher. Now, about a week ago we did have a very very strong smell in the brook and there was a lot of foam and we think what might have happened is all of the rain that we've had might have washed some slurry off a field somewhere up the further up the brook and it's run down and damaged the ecosystem in the brook and probably killed a lot of the fish now this is going to have a knock-on effect that the kingfisher won't have any um, fish to eat so whether that's got something to do with um, the fact that I've not seen the kingfisher this morning, I did see it three days ago when I was um, doing some work on the hide, but this morning I've just not seen any sightings at all. So hopefully the ecosystem hasn't been damaged irreparably and it will start to recover again, um, but today I've had no sightings. It just goes to show how delicate a balance um, life has. Just a small change can really have a knock-on effect all the way up through the food chain. I'm going to have to end this video on a sad note unfortunately. Let's hope that the kingfisher is still about and just hasn't shown up this morning and that the fish stocks haven't been too badly depleted. The environmental agency has been contacted and are looking into the source of the contamination. Fingers crossed that things get back to normal in the next few weeks. I'll keep an eye on the pond and 
keep in touch with the owner to see whether the kingfisher does return. It doesn't quite seem appropriate today to end this video in my normal upbeat manner but as always you can check out my Instagram that's at the Oakton Photography there you can see sneak peeks of photos before they go into videos you can also message me there and down below in the comments don't forget to click like subscribe and the bell notifications watch out for next week's video that goes live at four o'clock on Sunday but all that's left now is to keep our fingers crossed stay safe and I'll see you soon